Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2002 for Race 12 12, Season 1 of the crew mode. We're going to Talladega, the finale of Season 1. I'm just going to show you the points before I go into this race, if you didn't watch last race, since, you know, it's last race, and it's kind of important to know what the points are. So, we're 91 points back. We're more likely not going to win a championship, but we're going to be probably in the top 5, as long as we don't choke this away badly. Harvick and Gore have a pretty good shot at it, which is... Ironic, because if people don't remember, uh, Earnhardt was supposed to race full time 2001, but he passed away. Then Harvard took over the cars, so it's almost like the equipment of badassery of Dale Earnhardt and the rival Jeff Gordon at the time with him. So it's like it's it's like it's beautiful. It's poetry. Anyways, uh, let's just uh, get into Talladega, do qualifying, and see where we start here. Off turn four into the front stretch. The first lap is at 50.5. This one should be a little better, a little bit better as second lap normally kind of go at restricted plates. And we're going to get a 49.2 and we're going to get 11th in the field. And we're on the inside line, so that's really good. Talladega. All right. We're obviously doing a two tire strategy, taking right side tires when we pit because tire wear is not a big deal. And I need to take at least some kind of tires on the pit stop so I don't explode or freaking get loose in the corner. So. That's my strategy. I don't know how well it'll pay off here, but we're gonna at least go. We're not, we're gonna, we're not gonna go down without a fight. That's what I'm trying to say. Sterling Marlin, Bill Elliott, start up in the front row. Let's get this race at Talladega underway. Three, two, one. Green flags out. We got nine laps of this. It's gonna be a, more likely a quick Talladega race, and uh, we already lost one spot, two spots. I'm kind of curious where everybody is because I know it's Jeff Gordon and Kevin Harvick. Now I didn't see Jeff Gordon anywhere here. I see Harvick behind me in my mirror, like a like a white Goodwrench Chevrolet thing, and people are stopping. So I guess there was some kind of mini wreck, and Rudd almost just LePage Le, into LePage and got in the back. I don't know what he was doing, but we uh, we made the top ten. There obviously a big gap of cars in between Elliott Sadler and whoever's in what fifth or fourth. I think it's fourth. Yeah, fourth. So um, it wouldn't be wise to uh, t to pass anybody. So we're just gonna drive with the uh, Elliott Sadler for now until we catch the the front runners. <sighs> Johnny Benson, and Kevin LePage. I was trying not to let them get by me and try to drive with Sadler, but Sadler's going ridiculously slow and we lost two spots there I mean I'm surprised I lasted as long as I did it's one weird problem with restrictor plates is if you're like by yourself and there's only just you and some other car you you can't get by them I don't know what it is you just you just can't get by them which is very interesting because in real life NASCAR in 2001 was probably one of the most racy and passable uh, plate packages ever and here in this game it's rather difficult unless you have another car like say you know Ricky Rudd for example to draft with and didn't get by Kevin Page so interesting in that part I don't know why it was like that so that is a, a criticism of the plate racing on this game yeah it has mistakes but as of right now this first half of the race pretty good we're still inside top 10 head down pair this time by 100 miles an hour let's try not to do whatever we did at Daytona and we get down there just fine, right side tires, fuel, and we'll get out of here and we'll see how quick our pit crew can do. Adding fuel. 10.5. That's uh, pretty respectable. They, I think they got be, uh, below the estimated time, so uh, good, good job pit crew. People are heading out of period right now. I'm kind of curious how many spots I'll be able to gain here. Since I did take two tires, I'm expecting to gain a little bit more track position. There's Harvick, who is the points leader. I don't know where Jeff Gordon is, so I can't really tell you where he is. I didn't see him in the top 10 qualifying, so who knows where he is. But it looks like we're going to be the third car out, uh, at least in this line here. And then whoever's on pit road right now is going to be a determining factor where we're going to potentially run out. Oh my god, that was dumb. I was gonna try to cheat, like sneakily try to block them, but yeah, that was not a smart idea. 
and more people are heading out of Piro. This is kind of good that they that those two got by me because now I can kind of just be in their draft and uh, just pull away. And there's Jeff Gordon right there, so he is uh, theoretically ahead of Kevin Harvick right now. But I think Harvick's just about to get by Gordon, so I don't think that's going to last for that much longer. And we're going to be about seventh place here once now that it's all cycled through. Can we get to sixth to pass Benson? Probably because we have Rudd to use a draft from. But can we get by Ricky Rudd to crack the top five? Nah, I don't see it happening. White flags out one more time around the racetrack, still in sixth place, just can't get by him. Like, I can try to go out to the inside and try to make something work, but it just, I just need another per or a person ahead of Rudd to catapult me by, and I just can't do it. Even if I back up the corner and try to get him, uh, it just won't work. Obviously, just take my word for it, as I'm not going to demonstrate it, but yeah. And what's really weird on like the Daytona Talladega on this game is you go faster in the corners. It's very interesting. I know the draft isn't really the best example, but in qualifying I was going like 191 going in the corner and I went up to as fast as 193 or 192 in the corner, which is interesting that I gained speed through the corner. But we're going to come across the line, get sixth, Sterling Marlin wins, Dale Jr. second, Bill Elliott third. I get 6th and Gordon in the top 10, but Harvick in 8th. So Harvick wins the championship by a little bit over Gordon, and we're probably going to finish 3rd. Uh, out of all things, that was a, a, about as, as good of a finish as I could have expected for taking 2 tires and everything. I mean, we gained a little bit on Harvick, only a minor 8 points, but I think Season 2 we might win this championship. I think we have a decent enough car now to potentially be a championship threat for season two. I'm really looking forward to it. As I suspected, we get third in points, 83 points back, Gorin 27 points back, and Harvick. Kevin Harvick, a rookie in 2001, wins the championship, ultimate beast mode. Really, basically, it's Earnhardt's championship, but with Harvick driving, and that's Earnhardt's equipment. And bet, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, five top fives, 10 top tens. I think we got six five top fives and nine top tens so and two wins pretty good so I'm just amazed Harvard won that's interesting I think season two we'll get it though junior fourth Martin fifth Rusty sixth Stewart seventh Dale Jarrett Tony Stewart oh my god I can't read Tony Stewart Dale Jarrett Ricky Rudd Bill Elliott cracked the top ten so that good job Bill Elliott and Jeff Byrne eleventh after winning the 500 Go through the rest of the field, and there you go, 20th. And uh, that, that was season one. And uh, we don't get any upgrades. For, I mean, we do have upgrades, but it's mainly for, uh, I believe it's just... Is it drafting now? Pit crew? No. Okay, it's durability. Okay, I don't really... I'm not too worried about that. So. That's season one. But we're a little bit short, but I think uh, season two, I think we'll win the championship. I have a good feeling about it. A lot of the graces in the first half of the season were actually probably one of my better tracks for some reason. So I think if we really nail the first half, the first six races, and get like top fives and wins, then I think we'll be a, a good shot at the championship, which is going to be crazy. <laughs> but the quicker we get through this crew mode, the better for my sanity. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. I'll see you all for season two. And as always, have a good day, everyone.